seeds. Because seeds have this remarkable ability that we don't normally think about. These are seeds of the Canna Indica flower. And this, this is an empty shotgun cartridge. I'm going to pack the seeds in where the lead pellets would have been. Gone right through. Look at that. That looks perfectly intact. <laughs> the story goes that during the Indian mutiny of the 19th century, soldiers used these seeds instead of lead shot. They're hard enough to be blasted out of a barrel and through wood. These seeds are so tough, in fact, that it's said that despite being fired from a gun, they can still germinate. Sounds unlikely, I know, though we'll see. But a tough shell wasn't all because seeds from flowering plants developed a further evolutionary advantage that no other plant possessed. It all starts at the moment of pollination. Having been delivered by an insect, two cells from the pollen burrow deep into the flower's ovary. Here, one fertilizes an egg to create an embryonic plant. But, and here's the clever bit, the second cell from the pollen does a completely different job. Instead of becoming a new plant, it grows into a food source for the fertilized egg, a kind of packed lunch. It's called double fertilization and it's unique to the seeds of flowers. It meant seeds could lie dormant for months or even years until conditions were right. As for my canna indica seeds, well, this is how they fared. Despite being blasted from a shotgun, Four weeks later, here they are now, successfully germinating into a tiny flowering plant. Remarkable. <laughs>